Welcome back to The Breakfast Show 2. I'm here with Joseph Taylor, the education curator at the Discovery Playhouse in Cape, and we're going to do some science experiments this good this morning. So good morning. Thanks so much for joining us, Joe, Joseph. What are we going to be doing today? We are going to be learning about polymers. It's okay. a, a fascinating field. I'm doing this in honor of Paul Flory, uh, a man who was born here in the heartland. Oh, he wow. was a chemist who made a lot of breakthrough discoveries related to polymers. It's basically plastic. It's uh -huh. many chains of molecules linked together, and I got some cool stuff here to help us investigate uh, what polymers are all about. Yeah, perfect. Well, let's get started. I'm yeah, excited. yeah. The first one here, this is a polymer called a uh, polystyrene. You probably know it more commonly as styrofoam. Yes. It's a very rigid uh, polymer, but it can be broken down okay. quite easily using a special solvent I have here. Uh -huh. uh, this solvent will help to loosen the bonds of this polymer, and then it'll uh, go from being this rigid plastic to this very cool looking okay. liquid. You can see it's starting to form here. Um, it's basically turning into a, a sludge. It's really, really neat. You can see it's starting to foam up and, uh, and float there. Oh my God. When this solvent uh, evaporates, all of this polymer will start to harden again so you can mold it and then reuse it for whatever reason you want. But this is a really interesting way to, to make these cups disappear very quickly. And so obviously this solvent Mm. Like you were to put your hand in it, it's not going to evaporate your hand. Oh it's no just, no no! It's just it, for something. Yeah, it's just breaking down the molecules inside of How the, uh, the this polymer here. It's very interesting. That's just going to keep on going like that. Very very cool there. That I'm is gonna pull so this gross cool. one out, and then we were going to move on to this next one here. Yeah. We're going to make some polymer worms. Do you want to help me out with that one? Yes, of course. Cool. We have a couple Sounds activating cool. agents right here, and we're what we're going to do is just going to pour them in and like okay. kind of make these noodly worm dudes. You ready? Okay, yep. All right. We're going to pour them in, and you can see at the moment they're liquid, but as soon as they hit this activator here, the polymers will harden, and they create this really cool looking worm effect. I can actually reach in and grab them. Oh my gosh. And there they are. And really cool. We were just talking about this. This is slime that parents would love. Oh yeah, this does not stain <laughs> the hands. It doesn't stain clothes or anything like that. Um, you out. can you can find this easily at uh, you know online. Look at that. Yeah, they're really really cool. Fun for fun to play with. How does this work? How did? Because this is. Yeah, this is actually based off of uh, something that's found in algae, and okay. when it hits this activator here, the the polymer inside, all the the polymers link together, uh -huh. and they instantly solidify. And so then this, if I were to just you know pour this on the table, it would be a liquid, and I wouldn't be able to pick it up. Yeah, like you this. need this activator agent here. This stuff looks like water. It's actually got uh, calcium chloride in it. Oh my gosh, that is super neat. Yeah, it's, it's really super fun. How fun. Yeah, the, what else do we have? Yeah, the last thing I got for you here is another polymer. This is a, this is plastic, and uh -huh. a, plastic, of course, is a polymer. Right. Uh, polymers are really cool because essentially it's just one large molecule. That's all this is, it's just a big mish, mishmatch of, of molecules. And what's cool about them is that because it's just one large molecule, you can damage it and the, the polymer will just kind of seal itself okay. and create a, a watertight barrier. Oh, so I can actually hold on to this, this bag of water here and if you wouldn't <laughs> mind taking these skewers and running uh, these skewers through this bag. So just stab it through? Just stab it through, yeah. <laughs> like do I, like hard? Or yeah, I, I can show you here, I can, you just put it down and then you just run it through. Oh wow. Yeah, just like that. And you can do this with all of these skewers here. The, what, what's happening is the polymer is just wrapping itself around these uh, these skewers, creating a watertight barrier. And you can do this at home, and if you do this at home, I, uh, I encourage the little ones to, to try to think about why would this be useful in a, in a practical setting? Why, why are polymers really useful for uh, watertight properties, you know, uh, for watertight, uh, you know, applications? Right. That really, really cool stuff. Super neat. Yeah, I love polymers. I think they're so cool. Um, I love where, where we're going with polymers, too. There's a lot of new technology. I could imagine. And yeah. so over at Discovery Playhouse, it's the summertime. Kids are out of school, so people are probably going to be flocking over to you guys to get the kids to do some stuff and um mess around with stuff. What kind of camps do you guys have coming up? We are so excited to be reannouncing our summer camps that we always do every year, our space camp and our dino camp. Uh, dino camp is going to be happening uh, July 10th through uh -huh. 14th, and then we have space camp coming up after that, and that's running from July 17th through 21st. Super duper fun. Right. We always try to, to, to cater to um, a wide age, uh -huh. age range. In fact, we've actually split into two separate camps, so we'll have an AM camp and a PM camp oh, for wow. younger and then older audiences. It's really fun. 
That is awesome. Yeah. That's a great way for those kids to get involved in different types of things. And how do they go about getting involved in that? Do they just go to the website, Facebook page, reach out to you guys? How do they do that? There's so many ways to mm -hmm. contact us. You, uh, they're more than welcome to visit our uh, our online website. Mm -hmm. um, they can contact us on social media. They can are more than welcome to call or even yeah. stop by and ask for information from our, uh, our wonderful staff. Yeah, and so then, like I said, since it is the summertime, kids are going to be out of school. Parents are going to need to find a place to uh, send their kids, to have their kids go to and you know play for the day what are your guys's hours what does that look like does it change for the summer uh, our hours are generally stable um, we run Mondays well not Mondays but Tuesdays through Fridays uh -huh. um, again the, all of our hours and stuff are posted yeah. online as well as uh, you know in front of our store as well yeah. and you're welcome uh, they're welcome to check that out that's awesome well Joseph thank you so much for joining us Discovery Playhouse is such a great place for the kids and even parents to hang out I'm sure that yeah, they get a kick out of fun. it too. I always have fun on there yeah, I believe it all right well thanks so much we'll be back in just a few minutes